Alright, hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to add an audio transition. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm still on editing workspace. So click on editing at the top, click on window, workspace, then editing, make sure that we are on the same page. I'm here in the project panel right now. So under assets folder, I have here in the audio folder. Alright, so we have a uh, copyrighted free or safe uh, music here that we could use. Let's try to open that and we have three songs in here. I'm going to try to drag these songs to our clip. All right, there you go. Okay. And to make our transition, of course, I'm going to cut this. All right. And I'm going to try to add uh, another clip. All right. Let's try to cut this by hitting the W. All right. So it will, uh, the audio will be cut. All right. All right. Let's try to remove this. And then I'm going to add another audio clip here. So we're just dragging here to our uh, audio, all right? Audio two, all right? And I'm gonna cut this too, and then delete this. All right now, sort of we have here the audio two and the audio one, all right? Next is other. Okay, so I'm gonna open the audio clip mixer so that you can see here, all right? All right, and I'm gonna double click on the audio, all right? So that we can see these frames or these um, this waveforms, all right? All right, so to view the waveform, just double click on the audio and then you will see this waveform. All right, now let's try to play it. All right, let's try to play this. Okay, let's try to replace this audio with hello, Captain. All right, I'll try to replace that because so we can see this uh, dramatic changes here. All right, so let's try to cut this. All right, basically we have two audios in our timeline, all right? So we have these audio one and the audio two. And there's the, uh, once we play this, let's see. All right, so it's not kind of, you know, smooth transition. So what we're gonna do is to add a transition in our um, audio is all we have to do is to go to our effects tab. All right, let's go to effects. And then let's go to audio transitions here. Now we have crossfades folder, all right, a one folder inside of our audio transition. Click on that and then uh, you will see these three um, crossfades audio transition. The first one is constant gain, second one is constant power, and then the third one is exponential fade, all right? So I see notice that the, there's a blue, all right, blue box and this constant gain, meaning this is our default transition, all right? So if you want to apply a default transitions here, all you have to do is to press a shift and a letter D on the keyboard, and this uh, crossfade or a constant power will automatically add uh, to your um, timeline by just pressing the shift D, all right? That's how you add the uh, default transitions, all right, for audio and for video, okay? So let me undo it, Command Z to undo it. All right, right now this constant gain, all right, we normally use this constant gain at the beginning of the audio, all right? So for this one okay so there's a harsh um there's a harsh uh, entry of this first audio here all right so as you can see let's try to double click on this so that you will see this waveform all right and let's try to increase it okay right, i'm sorry let's decrease it all right so if we try to play this there's um there's a sudden of entrance of the audio all right now to make it uh, a little bit smooth all right we can apply this constant gain to the beginning of our clip uh, in the beginning of our audio all right and then what's going to happen is all right as you notice there's an apply effect here on the first part and then if you play this it's it's uh increasingly slowly increasing the audio volume of the uh, of the music that we have all right so let's try to uh, make it large here all right so as you can see all right there's a tiny uh there's a line here that's going up all right meaning from uh from nothing from no sounds going to these um sounds all right so it's gradually increasing the volume gradually increasing the sounds of our music all right and you can customize this you can try to drag this uh, long, all right. So these, um, you know, in gradually increasing is longer, all right. Before you touch this, um, you know, normal audio volume here, or you can uh, shrink this down, all right, for a sudden, you know, up of the uh, of increase or sudden increase of our audio, all right. Let's try to play it. All right, there's an increase of sudden, but it's not that harsh, unlike without this constant gain transition let's try to make it um larger or wider all right let's see the difference okay let's try to play this 
All right, just slowly, uh, try to slowly um, getting the music. All right, let's try to play it again. There you go. So that's the constant gain. All right, now let's move on to the uh, second or the uh, third uh, crossfade effect, which is exponential fade. So it, it, what it does is the opposite of constant gain. So what we normally do is we normally put this at the end of our audio. All right, so let's scroll down to our timeline and then let's put it here at the end. All right. So if we're going to play this, there you go. It's a sudden cut of the audio all right but if you want to you know exponential fade the music you can just apply this exponential fade all right drag it here in the last of the uh of the audio all right and now there's uh as you can see there's a line going up all right so let's try to play it as you can see it's not as as you notice the uh, music is going um down or, or fading you know smoothly all right also you can also manage this you know fade effect all right you can shorten this all right for this kind of effect sudden going out or sudden you know there's this there's a short transition from or fading out now let's try to move it you know larger and see okay let's try to see that what's gonna happen all right so it's slowly so it's slowly moving or slowly fading fading out the music all right so that's good so it really depends on you what you want to do with this uh, effect you want to you know make it long or you want to make it short it's up to you there you go all right so now let's go and do it all right and let's move on to our constant power all right now as you notice there is not enough handles because there's i can see uh, a little triangle symbol on the left corner of our audio box all right here all right as you can see there's a triangle there, meaning there's no handles so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this all right to to make room for handles all right or an empty uh empty space here and then i'll try to uh, drag this clip in between together and then okay I'll, let, let me move this and then what i'm gonna do as you notice the uh, the uh, waveform is not you know there's a sudden change of the waveform okay so what i'm gonna do in this waveform is i'm gonna apply the constant power so let's try to play without the without the transition there you go there is a um, sudden change of the uh, audio so to make it smooth all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply this constant power but you simply drag and drop it here in the middle of our timeline all right once you release that it will give you this constant power that you can also uh change all right it depends on you and your and your part all right so um i'm gonna make it you know i'm gonna make it this this long all right let's try to see what's gonna happen as you as you hear there's a gradual there's a constant power without dropping any um you know any sounds or dropping any um waveform all right it's actually it's actually uh transitioning it smoothly on the second audio that we have all right so it's 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 up to you if you want to shorten this up all right let's try to shorten up okay that that, that short let's try to play it there you go so there's also a smooth transition but it's a short period of time all right so that's how you use and that's how you add crossfade or audio transitions in your audio in premiere pro all right that's all for now and thank you so much for watching and See you in the next video.